right, you guys, so today we're coming at you with a very special video sponsored by our friends at Petco. We're going to the snow dogs. Today we're gonna talk about spring cleaning. How many of you, leave us some comments, how many of you actually do spring cleaning for your pets? For their beds, for their bowls, for their toys, for their collars, anything that you have. How often do you actually clean those things? Do you spring clean? Do you only do it once a year? We're gonna talk to you about how often we actually do those things. So first we're gonna talk about toys. When it comes to toys, you guys know the dogs have a lot of toys. Over time, the toys can get kind of dirty and gross, but they can also get damaged. So what we usually do, believe it or not, I actually do this about once a month. Um, <laughs> we actually go through our dog's toys and I'll dump that whole bucket out and the bucket that I keep their toys in, I actually clean that out because the dirt, the dirt and stuff that gets on the toys can get into the bottom of that bucket. So we'll clean out that bucket and then as I put the toys back in, I check them and if they're tore up, if they have lots of rips or tears, I'll usually throw them out. If they're super dirty, like if they made it outside and got buried and brought back in, I'll usually throw those out as well. So about once a month, I do actually go through all of the dog's toys to make sure that, you know, they're clean and safe. If they're too dirty, they get thrown out. Memphis is loving this bed. Apparently, let's talk about beds next. Um, when it comes to washing the beds, I probably wash the dog's beds about once a month. But just washing their beds isn't the only thing you wanna think about. The other thing you really need to think about is how often do you replace their beds? We probably don't replace their beds super often, but if you have a bed like this bed here has memory foam in it, you know, it's a really nice bed. And over time, you know, beds will start to flatten a little bit after you wash them so many times, they kind of start to fall apart a little bit. So you always wanna like check the beds, make sure none of the seams are popped. Oakley decided to join us. So yeah, like I said, make sure you check them, check the seams, make sure that they're not popped open. If it's just a seam, you can probably sew it. But if it's tore and you can actually see the filling in it, then it's probably a good time to actually go ahead and replace your dog's bed. I'm sure they would appreciate it. Plus you don't want them eating that stuff that's in there. This bed that you see here was actually sent to us by Petco and Memphis absolutely loves it. I was really hoping Oakley would use it because it's a memory foam bed, but she's more of a flat bed type of dog. But I think this is gonna be Memphis's bed. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is the importance of washing your dog bowls. Uh, in the comments down below, this is a really good question for you guys. How often do you actually wash your dog bowls? Water bowls and food bowls. Did you answer yet? Okay. So I literally wash mine every day. Because think about it. When you eat off of a plate, what do you do afterwards? You wash it. It should be the same thing for your pets. Every time I refill their water dish, we wash it out. Every time we feed them, we rinse their bowls out. It's just something you should be doing. A lot of people don't think about it. It's just not something they think about doing, but as your dogs are eating and they're drooling, they're making a mess on their bowls. So you really should be washing them out quite often because bacteria and bad things can actually form in the bowls. So it's nice to have, it's nice to have extra bowls if you can. These were really neat. They sent us these. These are called bowl mates. I thought this was really cool. So like this is the base. You like that? I really like this one. This one's really pretty. It's a black and white one. And then there's a bowl that fits inside of it. So the nice things about these is like for ease of cleaning, you really would only have to clean this every day and then only clean this once in a while. But they're called bowl mates. I've never seen them before. These bowls um, are a little bit big for our dogs. They'll probably get used as a water dish though. I kind of like that it's a little bit raised, huh? Pretty neat. Another quick thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was actually keeping your dog's collars clean. Collars can get really dirty and gross and they can actually start to smell. I usually just wash mine in cold water with a little bit of soap, that's all I ever do. And then over time as the colors start to fade and they start to get kind of dingy and if you see anything like pulling apart on them, then you know it's time to replace them. So that's just a couple of tips we have for you guys for when it comes to spring cleaning your pets. 
products, their beds, their bowls, all of those fun things. Like I said, let us know down in the comments below. Is this something you actually do? Is it something that, oh, I know a lot of people really don't think about it. It's just not something people think about for some reason. Um, how often do you actually do it? We want to say thank you once again to Petco for sending the stuff for the dogs to review and to check out. And as I said, there will be a blog post down in the video description where you'll be able to see a few more of these things up close with some photos and things like that. So we just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. What? Oh, also, there's links in the video description for the Petco community. We've been on there answering questions. You can post questions and things like that on there. So there's a chance if you go down there and you have a question, we might answer it. And if you didn't see our last video we did with Petco, we did a video on all of these Star Wars toys. I'll actually put a link to that up in the cards and down in the video description below so you can check that out. Also, I almost forgot, if you guys want to get entered to win a Petco gift card, there will be a link down in the video description below where you can get entered to win a Petco gift card. And maybe you can replace some of your dog's things that need to be replaced. Hey, beautiful girl. You love this bed, don't you? Memphis is like, this is the greatest thing ever. Greatest thing ever. I love you, baby. You're so cute. Oakley's behind you guys on the couch and Shelly's over there. <laughs> Uh, all right, you guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Can you say bye? Goodbye. Turn around and roll.